Can you talk a little bit about what these challenges could be and why it is taking so long for other organizations or healthcare initiatives in, in countries? Yeah. But, you know, um, so I think to be fair, again, a lot of countries have implemented genomics, uh, but we we are we have so much more to do. You're right, and remember the three buckets I've mentioned. Uh, it come in actually um, in this discussion. So I think there's just a historical issue. I, I don't know if I want to call it an issue, an historical topic challenge. Uh, of the, <laughs> <Problem>. <laughs> challenge yeah. Yes. Um, of just broadly the value of genomics, but the value of diagnostics, just more broadly, you know, I've worked in the diagnostics industry for um, more than a decade, almost uh, 13, 14 years now, and in market access for 20, uh, over 20 years. And what I notice is um, still with health systems, even though it sounds um, logical and, and intuitive to, um, to, to pay for diagnostics, the value of diagnostics is not sufficiently recognized. And I, I speak mm. about diagnostics more broadly. Uh, it's not only an issue of genomics. And what that means is that funding is not necessarily uh, adequate for, uh, for diagnostics. So this has slightly changed with COVID um, uh, because with COVID, we showed the benefits of sequencing during the pandemic. Yeah. And with COVID, we've shown that if you invest uh, sufficiently into diagnostic, it has a value, right? Remember mm. all the variants we used to uh, identify during the pandemic. Uh, so, and without the funding, we wouldn't have been able to do it. Uh, but this funding is, um, in, in other disease areas, is still uh, insufficient to increase the adoption of genomics in, in the clinical setting. And, you know, payers, it, it, historically, you know, the diagnostic budget has been so much smaller than other things for a payer yeah. in a healthcare system that they focus on other things, which is completely understandable. Uh, but I would say that, so that's one, the mm. value of diagnostics is not sufficiently recognized. The other thing is, um, there's two other things that come to mind. The time to market for genomics has been very long uh, because there's no real uh, clear pathway from health authorities to get these tests on the market. The pathways are not really time bound. You know, it takes a, a lot of time. They're not really flexible. They don't accommodate, accommodate, you know, the unique characteristics of what a diagnostic test or a genomic test would uh, require compared to a pharmaceutical, for example. So there's a need yeah. to change these appraisal pathways. And then the last, last but not least from my bucket would be, um, of course, it's incredibly uh, important to um, to take the time to build the right infrastructure, right? And that's where, again, where you guys come in, but having the right essential clinical infrastructure to enable the adoption of clinical uh, genomics is really um important. So what I mean by this is uh, having the right workforce uh, to run the test, to do the interpretation of these tests, having the um, uh, capabilities to share data, store data, uh, everything linked to digital health records, etc. So um, a lot of it is, is ongoing, but there's still a lot of uh, things to put in place. 